Okay, let's go check out something else that I didn't even know we were supposed to be excited about. But apparently there are three new houses coming with this. Uh, they will probably not all be released at once. There will probably be some special event limited time offers. There might be one house that comes with DLC. I don't know quite the story on this yet. We never do. Again, this is the PTS. We do not have access to the full crown price. Uh, but let's go look because there's some uh, pretty exciting houses that they've come up with. And let's start with one that everybody has been asking for for quite a while now. Go to the crown store and check them out. There are houses, new houses, new houses. Okay. A staple home in Cold Harbor. Now, this is an overlook acreage atop a floating plateau in Moloch Ball's Oblivion, realm of Cold Harbor. It is available to be developed however you like. It's a secluded location, very quiet and private, even scenic in its own austere way. Let's go have a preview of this. So the developers have said that this will not come furnished. This is for your imagination to do with as you please. You can put down furniture, you can uh, use the building blocks and the building materials from the ground store or from the crafting or whatever it is that you know how to do. So basically you're given a clean slate here, except for some of the items that are already in existence in this home, to build whatever you want here. So this should be a lot of fun. I know there's a lot of people who love to decorate the homes and who love to build their own unique features into the homes that they own. This is way up in the sky, apparently. Let's see. Uh, yeah, it, it's pretty high up there. It's a floater. So this is what you have to work with. It's like a blank canvas. Uh, you might be able to move some of these things around. I do not have the price list on this. And it is called a simple home. So. I'm hoping that if it's called a simple home, that it should be pretty cheap to play with or pretty cheap to buy. So that's it, the Cold Harbor home. And a lot of people have asked for it. Um, I don't know if they were expecting it to be a blank slate, but it's pretty cool. I mean, you could even leave it like this. Um, let's buy it and see what the limits are here. So as you see, there's no furnished version. Uh, oh, good lord. So uh, it does say for gold, 1 million gold, and requires the God of Schemes achievement. And then the goal, the crown price is one crown. That's just for PTS, remember. And since there's no furnished version of it, you know, Here's some ideas right here in the screenshot. Now you get this little, uh, little exit here. I don't know. It'll probably take you back to where it is you're okay to be at. Uh, this character has not done any of the Cold Harbor stuff. She might get dropped off where she was before. I don't know if she'll go back to the house or somewhere. But uh, anyway, so this is the big place that you have. And... Uh, So this is, um, it said it was a simple home, but it's kind of got notable, um, that's. Now I am an ESO Plus member, so divide everything you see in this screen by half if you do not have ESO Plus. But it could hold quite a bit of items. 
in this house if you have ESO Plus. And so it might be a really cool place to have dueling tournaments. Can you see this now? Okay, let's go check out the other houses. Okay, Prince Dawnlight Palace. This is going to be a red guard house. Prince Kubalhajad, in one of his wilder flights of extravagance, had a second palace built solely to better catch the light of the morning sun. It's a magnificent estate that truly makes one feel like a monarch. And the houses. Uh, in the houses, it's under notable homes. There's another one here with no preview. We'll get to that. Let's go check out the palace. Oh, so, wow. Wow. Look at this place. Got your own pool. Pretty nice deep pool. Oh, wow. Now this is the unfurnished version of this. There's two pools. Oh my. Talk about decadence. The grand entrance. You have the ocean. Oh, it goes all the way down here. Holy moly! Wow. Well, you know, if you've got a big guild, this will definitely do ya. If you have the, uh, Nice red guard. Uh, it's a home. Oh. Oh my goodness, look at that. These side rooms. This isn't even furnished yet. with the other ones. There's uh, another room here. There's that famous sunlight that we we're supposed to be capturing. Another room with the staircases. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Stunning. Absolutely stunning. Look at these stairways up there, the balconies. Go have a look upstairs. Look, there's a stove. Another room back here I didn't even know about. So all this, this comes with the unfurnished version of the house. So you do get to come out here into the balcony. Oh my, look at all the water. Look at all the water. Now this does look familiar. This does look familiar. I remember in uh, the Thieves Guild there is a palace that you come to that's just like this because they perform up there on that platform and then you're and you really want to get up there and save them and you can't. I remember that. I remember that. So this is that palace. 
and then there's windows but you can't open them so and a matching balcony over there I suspect if you want to get up there on that platform we're gonna have to build some stairs So there's these this room these rooms up here on the inside no wow we so that's the unfurnished and I'm not even sure that we've seen all of the outside so I'm going to go ahead and let's look at the furnished version now. Preview that. Right, so we've got all of this. It's just a big luxurious place to hang out. It, it's not even like a throne room. Well, so I am very impressed with this one. Very impressed with that. Now, Very, very nice. So this is where all your activity happens. Let's go see the last house that's new to this update, and that's the erstwhile sanctuary. The erstwhile sanctuary is built into the foundation of Kvach itself. This ancient complex was abandoned by the Dark Brotherhood after a subterranean collapse tumbled one wall of the speaker's bedchamber into a massive natural cavern. Oh, let's go see this. This is the Erstwall Sanctuary. If you have a thing about caves, this is a cave to have a thing about. Now this is a proper cavern retreat. Wow. Oh my goodness. Go back up here and see what we're missing up here first. If I go down there. So this is like a big old library area. Wow, creep factor is here, but it's a very spectacular creep factor, and I could see so many things happening here. That that is pretty uh pretty spectacular. Light source is coming from the mushrooms. And they have appropriately creepy music in here.
this is something very special so i think with all three of these houses they've pretty much outdone themselves although i still love my clockwork and my pariah's pinnacle but it looks like every time they come out with some new housing they they have upped the bid now uh when i was watching the live stream they did say that they were looking at increasing the um item limits inside the houses so perhaps there's hope for people who are not uh, ESO plus members to have more space in their house for furniture and collectibles so that is kind of a good hint I haven't seen any evidence of it yet on the PTS or in the notes but look at this wow And then this reflects down onto the floor. Wow. And we're not done yet. Look. I mean, I'm even looking over here. Can we go up here? Yeah, I could get stuck in there. So let's let's wait. I bet you could make a um, kind of a bridge over there and, and climb up into the waterfall. It looks like there's... Some some spaces that you could fit in. But it doesn't stop there. This is this is huge. Wow. I mean there's space back here. And there's stairs. Alright, let's look down here before you go on upstairs. And then let's look over in this room. Oh my god, this is like a proper dungeon sized house. Oh wow. And it just goes on and on. And I mean, what? <laughs> Alright, let's go back over here and look in, in the deeper section. <laughs> Holy cow. Alma's going to be poor by the end of this DLC, I can tell you that. I don't know, I'm not sure I want to know, but I love this cavern. I don't know how much it's going to cost. Or how far into it you can go. Can you make it all the way down there into the water? I dare not try it at this point, but I know that uh, people will test the boundaries of the limits else. Let's go check out the upstairs. Oh my god! <laughs> Oh wow, and the water just coming in here. I mean, this could this could be I mean the way these are set up it they look like you just stick a little uh, cafe chair down and you've got a new underground bar thing going. But oh wow. This is something. Now, I'm looking at all these pillars, and you know what I'm thinking? To be serious, I'm seeing a dungeon head collectibles, trophy collectible room with enough pillars to put all your trophies on. That's what I'm seeing. Definitely looks like there's some spots you could get stuck in this house, so I would be very careful about jumping into the water here. Okay. I, I knew I was going to save that for last because um, I just knew, I just knew it was going to blow me away.
Okay, here is the house furnished, and they've got lots more fires everywhere. Here, let's go back up to the one place with the library. I suspect that uh, a lot of this is going to be remain uh, open space for you to put in what you want. So you get kind of these... Uh, It looks like some very basic furniture. So, um, I think, uh, this, this looks like, uh, Nord style. Nord style furniture. And, uh, go down here into the main section. Yeah, so more of a studious kind of uh, library. Like it might be the library and a, the eating place and the sleeping place. There's a bed back here. Well, that's a very nice. It's got a filigree on the headboard. Do not be fooled. This is not a storage container that you can use. And a little seat here looking over the waterfall. Now here is sort of it's pretty sparsely furnished with uh, rugs. So it looks like they've just added more lighting in here. So it looks like a lot of the furnishing that you get with this house is going to be lights and some uh, tables and chairs and a, and a bed, but mostly lights. Because it needs a lot of light. If you're gonna display pieces up here on these pedestals, then you're gonna want light to throw them off. Okay, so now thank you for watching. I hope that you enjoyed the housing tour, and I will see you next time. Take care, everybody.